Welcome to Clitheroe, break 75. A little bit of rain starting to descend um, and we're starting to reach autumn. Summer feels like it's over, which is a real shame. However, the sun is supposed to come out today. So let's go and try and break 75 here. Clitheroe, a phenomenal golf course, used to host open qualifying. In fact, check out this picture from when I first ever played it from 2001. What a look that is. And that isn't done on this very, very tee box here. And this is the first hole. I'm here with Guy as well. Have you actually played the full course here? Never played. We've done a lot of filming here over the years. Know, yeah. Insert some clips here, maybe of some old school reviews, but never ever played it. I'm looking forward to playing it with on the range. You've been smoking it, absolutely smoking it. Expect big things today. Last round, Formby. I had 75 and I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. Today I feel a little bit more confident. Nothing low today. Um, hole in one. I'll get hole in one, you go low. Okay. Deal. Deal. There you go. That's what's to come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to play off the blues today, the back tees here at Clitheroe. Uh, it's actually not the longest, it's 6,500 yards past 71. You might think, well, that's short. Surely you've got a chance, Rick. However, this golf course's biggest defense is trees. Lots and lots of trees. So let's kick things off. Par five, first hole. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Wow. If you're the kind of person that watches videos but never hits the like button, like it for that shot, because that was nailed. I must admit, the first time in a long time I've hit balls on the range, and I had a little, little swing thought or two going on the old noggin, stood on the first tee feeling hyper confident and just nailed it. <laughs> nice start. It's a great hit, but it's just a touch in the right trees, maybe. Okay, six iron into this first green, come on. Oh, sit. Sit. That came out like an absolute bullet off that slight downhill yeah. line, didn't it? You could see it come out just flat and with a lot of ball speed. Massive shout out to Max, who came to range night. Young kid who gave me this pitchfork. I had the RS logo. Guy actually got one with the podcast logo. I'm going to use this. Thanks, Max. I really appreciate it. Let's start off with an eagle. What, what a way to start a video that would be. Right to left, slightly up the hill. Not hit it. Not hit it. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> so online as well. Actually rolled out further than I expected. However, can never grumble, complain, moan about a nice little birdie sauce. Birdie on the opening hole. Nice, well done. Thanks, pal. Good start. No. Check out the inside of the hole, guy. Oh, that's cool. Clitheroe Golf Club. Nice, nice. Isn't it? nice little touch in it. Second hole, 370. Um, I'm just going to hit it straight. There's a little bit of danger on this hole, but I'm not going to highlight it. All I'm thinking is fairway. Should be okay. Maybe a little bit of tree trouble. Yeah. Maybe a lot of tree trouble, actually. I'll say this without Guy listening. Money. Cheers. Money. I can tell you now, left is absolutely dead. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling that was the case. Like, literally, I didn't want to say it too much before the shot. There's a little fence, you see it on the left? Yeah. It's just out of bounds. It was going so well after the first hole, and I'm in a bit of a predicament. Uh, I've actually finished just into the trees here on the right-hand side. I'm not far, I'm only 80-odd 80, 80 yards to the green. We've just come this way a tiny bit. If I was here, actually, I know I keep saying this in videos. If I was here, it's easy to say, I'd actually be able to get a little wedge on it and get on the green. But from where I'm from, I've just got, I'm blocked out. <sighs> I might still go aerial though, because as long as I avoid everything, be good. That could be very good. Oh, unlucky. It's fine, but a foot more, it was perfect. <sighs> So Rick was very unlucky there, but I think I've been a bit more unlucky. Off the tee, I've hit, for me, what is a 10 out of 10 drive. I honestly can't hit it better than that. Just come off the fairway, and I've ended up in a divot. But everyone watching can relate to that. You hit a great tee shot and you end up in a divot. It feels so unfair, but I can't moan. I've got 62 yards to the flag. Let's try and put one close. Oh, it needs to go. 
Uh oh. Had a lot there. Never up, unfortunately, Rick. And flashbacks to the first two holes at Formby. <laughs> ah! Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, tap in par. Look, you're under par. Life is good. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Right, third hole. The ditch that cuts diagonally across the fairway, uh, which is 240 to get to it and 270 to carry, but it's not in a straight line to the hole. The hole kind of goes off to the right-hand side. Um, and it forces you to play up, lay up. If, if the ditch was dead straight, I'd, I'd have a go at it. It's okay to say that you're scared. <laughs> <laughs> I am. He's plotting his way down the hole like a pro. I think I'm gonna have about 260 yards left in there. Is it a lot? How long is the hole? I didn't oh. hit that very far. I didn't hit that very well. Is it four or three, do you reckon for me? It could be three. Ideally, I want to hit it past mine because I've got a long way. I'm used to that, Rick. Oh, pulled it. And that's terrible. Should be in play, but very, very long shot in. Flipping heck. <laughs> okay. Uh, after two poor tee shots there from me and Guy, uh, the ditch, you can't actually even see yet. We're probably 50 yards away from the ditch, so bad strikes. Meant we're way too far back, but we're not wet. I've got 245 to the front of the green on a par four. I'm gonna hit a three iron down though and just see how far I can get it. Oh, come out good, but a bit left. Oh, that's behind a tree. Oh my word. All right, I'm gonna go three iron two. If I can get one chasing, I reckon I've got half a chance. Join me. We're literally playing this hole together. I'm near the next tee. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> pathetic golf, isn't it, really? We've asked a bit too much of ourselves there. Okay, this time there is no gap. There's a tree between my golf ball and the flag. Can't go over it. Can't go through it. So I think I'm gonna have to go under it. I'm gonna hit a little seven iron. I'm literally going to run it. Hmm, not the distance, but the line was absolutely horrendous. What are we put in? Put in for par. Okay, par put. I'm a yard off the green, but the aprons around here are so pristine that it's borderline of putting green anyway, really. Not, not much breaking this, just a little bit up the hill right to left. Great pop, great pop. Just didn't quite send it out right enough. Yeah. Oh, I had a chance until the end. Either of those fours would have felt like almost a oh, birdie. This then. is a par four and a half today, isn't it? At least. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Tough hole. You know it's a hard hole when you're actually not that bothered about a bogey. <laughs> yeah, it's like I accept it. Yeah. Because the next hole is actually pretty easy. Luckily, get one back. We're gonna go five iron straight down the middle. Oh, lovely. A bit too conservative, safe that one. 108. Not my favourite yardage in the whole of the world. But like a really nice 54 degree, but I don't have one. I, I can get 56 there. Let's get back on the par. Carry a little bit. We're on the green, pin high, but it's a little bit a little bit right. That's the, only, the only issue when you're maxing out your wedge shot, certainly I find anyway, trying to max out the distance, sometimes the line can get a little bit varied. That's what's happened there. I'm just trying to look for my divot. Have you seen anyone? Look at Birdie. I'm good for distance control, quite a bit to the right, straight uphill, and not a lot of break. Let's put a good roll on it. Oh, my word. I feel like I get too many of them. It was a bit pacey. It was a little bit pacey, but... but... Right in the middle. Dustin Johnson for $4 million. 
Oh, you want a bit of birdie sauce? Can't even get it. Do you know what I mean? That hops up and jumps in the hole, but Ricky Shields around Clitheroe trying to break 75. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Where's the justice in that, eh? 150 par three, fifth hole, first one of the day. Guy said he's going to get a hole in one, so this is his first opportunity of the day. Well, if you watched last week, you saw my ability at getting close, Rick's ability at getting close. We can do it. Put your money on us. Right, I've got nine iron, pins at the back. I think I can hit this pretty much as hard as I want, and it shouldn't, in theory, go long. Um, so let's commit and straight down the neck. I tell you what, don't this cord... Don't think it's there. No, is it not? It was just a touch toey. I think if I'd have middled it, it would have got there, but it was just a fraction out the toe and didn't quite get there. I'm sorry that Rick let you down. Um, <laughs> I feel bad for you. If you want a refund, please email your email address below. I will try and get one for you. <laughs> Refunds at rickshields.com. <laughs> okay, eight. I'm kind of thrown off a bit now because I was going to go nine, but I'm going to go eight. Okay. I'm going to commit and I'm going to box it. Strike's good. Okay, so first par three, mission fail for hole in one. <sighs> See what we can do on the next one. So my shot wasn't massively offline, but it missed on the wrong side. So as you can see, I'm off the green. I need to kind of land this one around here and let it just feed in. Anything past the hole is going to run away. That pin's it's, nasty, isn't it? It is. It's a time for some Spanish hands. It's a little bit of inner sevy. Just nip it. Touch. Stop now, stop oh, now, stop now. Great touch. If I was a tour pro, that's the bit where you take your glove off and everyone claps, just do that. Pat your cap. <laughs> I'm not a top bro. I'm a very, very bog standard golfer. Second chance is par three. Third opportunity, but this pin is naughty. It's on a little shelf up on the right hand side. And I've kind of pitched it on the lower level, the left hand side, not really realising. So I've got to give this a lot of respect with the break. It's going to swing heavily right to left. And it's up uphill. It's not unmakeable. But I've just got to give it my full attention. Stay up. Oh, pace. Yeah, a little a bit very tough putt. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but very uh, slopey. Yeah, yeah. that'll have a lot of break. Take a par. Absolutely. I would have had a hole in one, ideally. Then a two, <laughs> then a three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, six hole, par four, pretty much dead straight. Runs parallel to the railway line here on the left. Um, not dead long, three, 360. See a big one? Should we try and make a couple of birdies, Guy? Yeah, I think we should. Or bogeys. <laughs> <laughs> Either. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Kyle Cabot is your best strike or not? Well, it was a great well. strike, but it was super straight. Yeah, that's perfect for this hole. Yeah. 86 yards to the pin. Time to switch some birdies on. The plan is, I'm going to try and manifest this one. The plan is to land it just right at the flag. Let it just trickle down the hill to the left and leave myself a three foot uphill putt. <laughs> that's the worst wedge shot I've hit. And that's saying something for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> Takes a thousand shots to build confidence and one to shatter it. So that's not the one that shatters it. Okay, third shot, and I've made this much, much harder now. <sighs> the trick is here right now. It's all between the ears. I need to mentally forget about that last shot. I'm all, you know what I'm actually going to think here? That I've driven it to here, and I've got to get up and down for birdie. That's my new mind goal. Takes a thousand shots to build confidence and one to shatter it. My wedge game has been so much better. Oh, ouch. Okay, fourth shot on this hole. Third with the same club. Luckily it hit this tree because if it wouldn't have done it, it would have ended up right in the danger. Come on, land it on. Silly sausage. <laughs> <sighs> I 
fourth shot with the same club. Good effort. Thank you. I feel for Rick there. If you've watched Break 75 or Rick for a long time, you'll know that short game chipping and pitching isn't his strength. However, he genuinely has been putting a bit of practice in. He's actually got quite a lot better. You'll have seen that recently. I hope that's not damaged his confidence because he's got the potential to shoot a good score today. So, that's a bad one. Nice double, Rick. Nice double. <laughs> that is dead. All right. That is deader than dead. Actually, that one's over there. I think that one's okay. All right, I'll hit a provisional tight list two. First one was tight list one. Horrible. My hands have suddenly got the heebie jeebies. So I found my first one, uh, even though it's not pretty at all. Guy managed to find it here on the right. I'm basically going to have to hack it back out into the fairway. Yeah, well, out. Yeah, we're back in play. So, annoyingly, we couldn't find my ball. It wasn't quite as far right as Rick's, but just lost. It's been the long stuff. So, I think that means my score today is NR. There's somebody behind us, so I don't want to run back down to the tee. So, if you want to know my score, it's a big NR. So, my roll now. Provide the banter, obviously, as always, and keep Rick's head up because it's on a little point now to go either way. So I'm going to motivate him, be a bit of a cheerleader, and make sure he breaks 75. I'm going to get hold of one, who knows? Okay, third shot into this par four, pins back right, 163 yards. I'm going to hit an eight iron. Looks like left is my friend. Come on, I need a good iron strike here. Get back into this. Fade a bit. The strike was good. Oh, don't go big. Uh, might just be clinging onto the back edge. Right, I'm going to be caddy now. I'm keeping my head above water at the moment, but I'm pedalling hard. How do you want it, sir? I'd like it out, please. And I'd like this to go in the hole for a par and to keep me at two over par. Pin high after my third shot into this green. Across the green, left to right, slightly up the hill. Come on. Hit it, you plonker. Oh, right on line. Hi. It was. I would give you that if it wasn't an official match. <laughs> an official stroke play competition. Just quiet. Thank you. Three over now. Silly double on the last bogey there. Let's reset. Come on. I was feeling so good before that. Eighth hole, par three. 212 yards. <laughs> I mean, we're going to still try and go for a hole in one, but wow, this is, uh, this is a good hole. Four iron in hand. I towed it again. I tell you what, though. I towed it again. If that gets that, that's almost a toad in the hole. <laughs> oh, yeah. bunker. Par threes in a long guy in like a three iron or a four iron should be illegal. No, that's a bit much. That's a bit a turned over. Try, bunker as well, I think. Yeah, left bunker, short bunker. If I can hit my irons straight, but I'm not. Hit, I'm not quite striking them. Um, Testing a little up and down here. Feels like this could be a real nice confidence boost if I can get this one nice and close. <laughs> oh, we've gone, we've gone, ladies and gentlemen. The game's demolished. It's abandoned me. Right, we're in a pickle here. When it rains, it pours. <sighs> Rick, what are you doing here? That was actually pretty good. <laughs> oh. Ah, damn. So, out of nowhere, I'm five over par now. I'm very frustrated, to be honest with you. Last three holes have just killed me. You take me back to the middle of the fairway on hole number six there. You kind of think, you know, level par, playing some good golf, and just that one bad shot, that one fatted wedge shot, 
has just kind of sent me into like a different mindset. So interesting golf, the psychology of it. Next shot obviously was bad as well. Last three holes, I've just gone double on the six, silly bogey on the seventh, and then double on the eighth. And that was a silly double as well. Five over, a lot of work to do, but more work here right now. Gotta fight the demons. Let's come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in one way, I'm lucky there, because I've hit that left. And if that would have missed the tree that was out of bounds, it's whacked the tree and it's ricocheted back. And it's probably gone a grand total of 100 yards from the tee. <laughs> Oh Christ almighty. Why don't I get a bounce back? As, well, it has bounced. <laughs> We've hit it about the same distance off the tee there, you know. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so, <laughs> this hole is 400 yards on the nose. My ball's here. <laughs> I've got 280 yards left in. So if my maths is correct, I've hit that off the tee 120 yards. On a positive note, <laughs> I'm about two yards further than Guy. <laughs> We're making a hash of this. Yeah. Um, 112 yard drive. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hit a seven iron. Get in the back of the fairway, leave myself a full shot in. <laughs> That's lovely. But the group on the next team are actually watching as we hit this and they're going, hold on. <laughs> Why is he in his second from there? Right, come on. Third shot, par four. Wheels are starting to fall. Can I collect them? Can I put them back on while we're moving? Up and down here would really boost confidence going into the back nine. Gonna be in the bunker. <sighs> No, good. So we've got nine and a half holes left to play. And it's gonna be a video that you're not gonna to wanna to miss because let's be honest, you all want Rick to pull it back and play well. You do, I do. But every one of you watching, there's a small part of you, it might only be a small part, but you have to admit this, that wants to see him blow up. Now that's not nice, but I bet you do. Keep watching to the end, see what happens. Can he pull it back or will he blow up? <sighs> Remember said there's eight, nine over front nine, and then nine birds in the back nine. <laughs> It's more fun. Look at this. I mean, it's a terrible wedge shot, terrible tee shot, not a great second shot, terrible third shot. And I've left myself here in this bunker. I don't even think I can got a swing at it, and that's my pin there. Ugh. Great effort, that. Great effort. Thanks. Very good. I wasn't sure if I could even hit behind the golf ball, then it was that close to the lip. I feel like I really do need this. Because <laughs> otherwise this would be the worst four hole stretch ever. Yes, well done. Oh. You can't <laughs> fist pump a bogey. <laughs> I've never fought so hard for a bogey in my life. Through nine holes there, I am six over par after being one under par through the first hole and uh, level par through Four. I'm now six over. Anyway, it's not at the end of the story. Par 71. So what I've got to do? I've got to shoot three under back nine. Uh, no. Yeah, three under back nine. You can do it. I can do that. Yeah, easy. Piece of cake. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> right, three wood, ten hole, back nine. Start to time to turn it on. Let's bring that front nine, first through hole energy back. Requires a little fade here off the tee on ten. Again, love the framing of this tee shot. That's a Barry Belter. Well done, Barry. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that is a one. So Rick's on a Barry Belter. I'm going to be a Stephen Stunner. Stone Cold Steve Austin Stunner. No, it pulled it. Strike was great, though. Oh! 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 Oh, my God! Oh, massive kick. Good. Re Ridiculous kick. Fairway. It's next to my golf ball. Yeah, it's what I meant to do. Why are you so surprised? Oh my God. 130 yards to the flag. Time to turn it back on. 
Time to shoot three under par back nine. Uh, what did I say, 130. I'm gonna go a little pitching wedge. Come on, Rick. It's on the green, but it's a terrible strike. Yeah, nice shot. We're on the green. We've got a putt for birdie. Life's good again. And let's just roll this one in to make it even better. Roll and break and roll and roll. Aye. Sun shining. The golf game's hotting up. 11th hole, 427 yards. Requires a good drive or a little tiny draw. Do I hit a draw? Do I try and hit a draw? Yeah. Oh, that's a fade. It's fine now. Is anyone watching like ketchup on the curry? <laughs> From memory, this is one of the smallest greens on the golf course. But I need to not think of that. We're just thinking about pin these days. Oh, it's right. Sit. You might call me crazy. I want to hear Rick's opinion. This hole really reminds me of Augusta. The bunkers. Yeah, really white and yeah, the I, shape I know of what them. it is. But for this shot only, I'm at Augusta. Okay. <laughs> so I've got 150 downhill. I'm going to go soft nine iron. Uh, if I get this on the green and hold the putt, I've won the Masters. Won the green okay, jacket. Done. Okay. Deal done. I beat Scotty Scheffler. I beat Tiger Woods. I beat Rory. Beat uh, Rick Shields. You this have. can get up and down from 150. It's a nice start. Actually, a very nice start. Oh, nice. Well done, mate. Okay, so just right side of the green. <clears throat> Shouldn't really be too much hard work to knock this one up and down. Oh, I hit it, Rick. Mm. Just lost my touch. I really felt like my short game was just starting to come back, and it, it's, it's amazing how the mind works. I think it goes to show kind of the, the more good history you have of, of good shots, almost a build up. You need to kind of use that information. Remember those memories of the good shots you hit and try and bring them back into the forefront of your mind when it's maybe not going your way. At the moment, I am slightly struggling doing that, but that's what I need to do. He came here initially to see if Rick can break 75. Who knows? Watch till the end, but let's see if I can win the Masters. This is it, Rick. Go for it. And then you mess and you go, well, no, this one's for the Masters. That'd be busier. No, this, one's for the masters. <laughs> this one is still for the for green the masters. jacket. Pathetic. <laughs> I sliced a putt then. I actually sliced my putt. <laughs> he didn't win the Masters, guys. <laughs> Fourth hole, par four, a long one, 464 yards. Uh, just need to rifle one straight down the middle. No messing about. It left a tiny bit, please. Oh, it has. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and also hit a straight one. No. Oh. For right! Whoa, that's a... Is anyone up there? Well, how's this? Got to shout loud if you're hitting people on the golf course. Okay, second shot into par four. I've got a little bit of overhanging tree, but it shouldn't get in my way. I'm still a long way away from the green. I'm 190 yards away, probably pushing on 200 yards. I'm going to rifle the six side at it, so I think it's going to run. <laughs> well, that was pretty crap. <laughs> Everything runs away from me once I get the ball going here, so I'm actually going to try and land it quite considerably short and then run it up. Too long and it hit the down slope. Hit the flag. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> there was nothing good about that shot. <laughs> I thinned it, I missed, I mistimed it, mis misjudged where it landed. It took a massive forward kick <laughs> and slammed towards the flag and in the hole. <laughs> that was class. <laughs> it might have ended up in the bunker. <laughs> that was brilliant. Ah, lovely, Rick. You needed that one. Really good birdie. Textbook. <laughs> Apologise for the muted reaction after the birdie. I feel like the good, good lads would have been going absolutely crazy. Tops off, diving into ponds and all sorts, but ain't my style. And I also didn't predict it might go in. Anyway. Until seven over par. <laughs> <laughs> Six over par now. <laughs> right, par five coming up though. It, it keeps the dream alive at some point. I've got to make three birdies. Come on, par five. Got to just ram one down the left, is the play. Oh, that's a golf shot. That's phenomenal. Yeah, that's nice. Celebrate that one. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 230 yards left to the flag. Um, just got to stand up. I've just got to hit the green. Hit the green, one putt. Let's make an eagle. I'm going to go with three iron. Oh, Rick, that is... Woeful is the description. Bloody woeful. Ah. Okay, third shot after a pretty dismal second shot. I wanted to be up near the green, really, with a chip and a putt. Now I've got a pitch from about 50 yards. I've just got to go over the corner of that bunker or, or get very close to it anyway. I could go slightly right and play a little bit more conservative, but I need to make birdies. Go. Oh, I've really lost my touch with these shots now. Lost the confidence, lost the touch. Come on, Shields. Another chip in, back to back chip ins. Could do very well. That could do well. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Ah, so that one got away then. Could have made birdie after the tee shot, really. Should have been looking for an easier birdie, but still six over. Two more par threes to play. Two more opportunities for holding ones. However, it's 190 yards, this little rascal. Come on, mate. Good iron shot. Where's my iron shots gone? Oh, it's not there. Oh, I'd rather have been in the bunker. It's on the right edge of the bunker. Do you hit a five? Six. Six. Mm. Just can't quite get my strike with my irons today. They've all been a little bit toey. Okay, hole in one time. 14's my lucky number, so obviously I'll get a hole in one because it's hole 14. Five iron, 186. No, nope, pulled it. Yeah, you put in. It's fishing around. I've really been trying much more recently to be getting the wedge out in these situations, not bring the putter out. The only slight issue here that I have, as we're starting to approach the autumn months, it's just, the grass is just a little bit bare where the ball is. And I'm not sure, after some of the shots I've hit today, whether I'm at peak confidence. A couple of weeks ago, I'd have probably had a go at that, but... I think right now, I'm gonna have to revert back to old trusty. So I feel I'm getting closer. It'll come. So yeah, putter out, because I can, I can hold this. Putter. Sweep left, sweep left for me. Sweep left for me. I think that does go to show. As much as I'd love to have got wedge out, putter's still such a great option. If in doubt, Get the putter out. Yeah, well in. Thank you. Keeps the dream alive a little bit. Still three birdies to make. So I'm starting to run out of holes. Okie dokie, 15th hole, par four. Big sweeping dog to the right. Run out of holes, four holes left. Three birdies needed. Mm. It's doable. It is. If I was 
Rory or John Rahm or Tiger. Peter Finch. <laughs> Peter Finch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anybody really. Um, and this requires a nice little fade off this tee as well. Which you've got in the locker at least. I think I have. Yeah, let's do it. It's either perfect or too much. It's absolutely perfect. Right. There we go. Perfect. So 10 out of 10. Thank you. Oh, he's copied. Copycat. Oh, very healy, but absolutely perfect. Yeah, good ball. Thank you. You know what? I'll say it for ourselves, two perfect tee shots, because it's not, a, not an easy one, not for two natural. Well, I'm a natural draw of the golf ball. The guy's a bit more. I get what I get. Right. Like I'm giving. <laughs> right on lefts. Um, round the corner and far away, and we've got a little flick into this green. Pins at the front, nearest the pin comp. 104 yards without getting carried away. This has been a good number for me recently. Three quarter 50 degree, nice little divot. Think, imagine like a six inch Subway sandwich. That's what I'm going to take out the floor. Cheese and toasted potentially. Um, Rick's not got a chance of getting inside mine, but for the sake of the video, good luck, Rick. Thanks, pal. Oh, it's well short. It's short. I embarrassed myself there. Got too cocky, too carried away. However, as promised, there is my <laughs> six inch subway. <laughs> Cheese and toasted. <laughs> right. Three birdies to make. This is prime position. 101 yards, pins at the front. Rick went for the foot long subway. Uh, quite literally, is a foot long. They ask you how you're feeling, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. But you so just annoyed my wedge play today. Who's the divot? <laughs> Big as my. I'm feeling a little bit deflated after that, to be honest with you. I know that three birds in the last four holes was going to be ambitious, but that was a great opportunity. That doesn't mean it's over. I'm not a, I'm not a pessimist, but it's made it a lot harder. Oh. Yeah, nice shot. Oh. <laughs> you little rascal. There's a nice shot though. Nice touch, nice feel. Grabbed. In. Walked it. Boom. Nice. Really nice. <sighs> Someone's just got a new reel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, salvaging up and down for a par. Super, brilliant, oh. <laughs> great golf. You will notice something very strange. I'm teeing up first, because I've got the honor off for it. <laughs> I played bad today. However, redemption time. This whole fancy the draw. Looks nice, this hole. I don't hit a draw, but let's play a draw, Rick. I'm gonna swing it to the right, the path is going huge to the right. Big distance on this as well. Oh, I've slung it, but it's a bit snappy. A bit lower. Actually, that's fine. That line will be lost or perfect. No, it's fine, that. Okay, the dream might be over today, everybody, I'm afraid. After making bogey there, that puts me seven over. And I need four birdies now in three holes. So I'd have to go birdie, birdie, eagle. Yeah. <laughs> Let's now just hope it doesn't get too big, the number. Ah, get down. I'd like to show you how pretty this hole is, but from here, you can't see anything because it's all full of pine trees. Uh, but come here for a second. Let me show you this. This is the shot I've got. This is my ball. If you come down low, you see the flags? Can you see the green? Flags back left. Green's only, we're only 60 yards away. So I'm going to have to try and funnel it through those two bunkers with a little bit of draw spin and help let the contour of the green pull it all the way around to the flag. High tariff, yes. Impossible, no. Oh, it kind of kicked up the hill. Uh, it's all right. It, it, the first bounce, instead of kind of kicking left with the contours of the hill, it kind of kicked up the hill a little bit, frustratingly. Um, but we're on the green, we're putting for birdie. Hit it. Ah, oh, a little bit weak. 
Ah, oh, come on, knock in for birdie, guy. <laughs> See another one. I put it so bad today. But if every par putt was that long, I'd be off scratch. We've all had a laugh and a joke. We're getting a hold of one, blah, blah, blah. Good. It's all led to this moment. This is it. One of us is going to hold it. I hope it's me. No, I did. Settle for Rick. 163 to the pin. On a tie in. It's going to be a good hit to get it there, but seven feels a bit too much. Wish me luck, Rick. <laughs> oh, thinned it. That's terrible. That's terrible and pathetic. Okay, <clears throat> eight iron in hand. Deep breath. Make a hole in one. Eagle, eagle to break 75. That's left as well. Okay, guy's using the scooper duper to get his golf ball out. Oh, that's actually quite fun. <laughs> and uh, just come come round for a second. Come on, look at look at it. You're not jumping it. Follow me. Follow me. So mine's pitched here, and look where it's finished. Actually, I'm not quite sure how it stayed on dry land, but I'll take it because I can get putter on that, and I'm. Fairly pin high. That's crazy, that though. So close to going on in the water. Wow, great putt. Really good putt. Lovely. Thank you. <sighs> right, today's round has been very interesting. Currently seven over par, and I feel like I've had a splattering of terrible mistakes to rack up quite a high score today. Some nice shots, granted, not many, but a few. Um, if I can birdie the last hole here, which is a par five, a little over 500, well, five, 530 yards, it would give me a little bit of hope because it means I'd be level par for the back nine. And it means then realistically, I just had three terrible, terrible holes today. Just hit it, come on. It's just a bullet ball. It's just a bullet down the middle, you've got it. How good is this tee shot, by the way? I like this. A little bit leaky up the right, but should be okay. Ball. Good drive. Well, I've actually somehow hit it from the 18th tee to the first fairway. I thought I'd got caught up in these trees, but it must have just bounced through. And where I thought I might have to be laying up, I've now actually got a good look straight at the green. However, I'm 270 yards away. So it's gonna take a hell of a hit to get up there. But I'll give it a go. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. I've absolutely smashed it. Um, but it's it's gone straight right. And even though I might have got on the front edge of the green there with the distance, I'm probably 40 yards right. So I've probably got a full lob wedge over a bunker. <laughs> Third shot into this last hole. Uh, this is what I was talking about. I've, uh, I've not a million miles off pin high, but I'm miles to the right. And as what I said, I'm 40 yards away from the front of the green. Bunker to navigate, not much green to get over that. We've got the 60 degree out. We're gonna just play it flop shot. Fly it underneath it, get it close. Come on, Rick, finish with style. Good for distance, not great for line. I've not held a putt all day. So as a treat from me to you, Rick, I'm gonna hold one. Thanks, mate. For a little bird. Is it getting there? Oh, I'll take a par. You can have the you can have the birdie. Thanks, pal. Okay, so finish the round with a nice birdie. Come on, come on, come on! Yes, nice in. way to finish. Well thanks, done, pal. my friend. Well played. What a way to end. Thanks, buddy. Right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. A mixture there. Gr great mix. Just what you want. I don't know how I feel. Some highs. You should feel chuffed. We played well. Yeah. Six over, but I dropped five of those shots on three holes.
Fix so. the wedges, you're back in business. Well done, mate. Double in. That was a good connection as well. That. What Quite a day. Anything. What a golf course. Definitely worth checking out. See you next week, Break 75. I will see you next Break 75. Don't forget, they're not every single week. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Hopefully, we'll try and get out as much as possible. Thanks, guys. At Clitheroe, thanks to Sam the Head Pro. Catch you soon. Peace.